Hey everyone, it's Orange. Welcome to Path to Decency episode 45. I have a ton of stuff to go over. So much happened in the last week and a half. I'm gonna do it in chronological order because I kind of forgot because so much stuff happened. We have a ton of summons to do at the end of the episode. 28 Mysticals, two Scrolls of Light and Darkness, and one Legendary. We also have the Orion Summons coming up sometime before Monday. I have to do them. I still need to finish TOA hard, so I think I'll do them maybe tomorrow or something. That video will be out. It's going to be its separate thing. So that, and also, yesterday I did a surprise uh, Twitch stream, and I cleared TOA normal. I'm currently working on hard right now, so I did all of normal. I think it took me two hours and 30 minutes, and I got a very generous donation. Wilfredo, what? Wilfredo, Wilfredo, what? 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 What was that for? Wilfredo, you're gonna have to explain yourself. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got your message. Let me check this. Here, get yourself the Christmas pack, or the regular monthly pack, or even the highest stone pack, whichever one you prefer, Merry Christmas. Thank you! Oh my gosh. I decided to buy the Christmas package, so I got my deer here. If you guys have any rune recommendations, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And the clip of me summoning that is on Twitch. I will also include that clip at the end of this episode for the summons too, so look forward to that at the end of this episode. Um, okay, so let's do, let me go over what happened in the last week and a half, and then we'll do the summons as always. So, let me take a breath here because I'm out of breath. I don't know how to talk properly without getting out of breath. Okay, so, um, chronological order, go, go. The first thing that happened was free rune removal. I have my December rune video on my channel. I talk about what I did in that video. The main thing that I worked on was my two Lucians. Um, I've been grinding them, I've been farming raids this week, and they look a lot better. Something kind of cool also happened if you saw the video. I got C3, uh, I was one win away from G1. I finished rank 321, so I do think it paid off with my Lucians. Um, I did kind of mess some stuff up with, like, my Chasun and my other violent monsters. Um, I'll talk about that at the end, though, because that's something that I plan on working on, uh, like, next month, because I know it is a problem. So we had free run removal. I was so overwhelmed, I spent, like, the whole day doing it, and then I still wasn't finished, so I... I kind of did a little bit more work over the next couple days on my monsters. So I'll just, I'll show you my Lucians right now after I changed them and grinded them. Or I just grinded them, that's all. So check out the December rune video if you guys want to, you know, see stuff or whatever. So those are my two Lucians. Next on the list, my guild finished G1 and I had a perfect week. So we have a plus six rule in our guild and I managed to hit plus six every single offense, and I won every single one of them. My defenses were not perfect, though. I did lose a lot of defenses, so that may have been my first perfect week. I don't know. I tweeted about it because I was happy. Uh, we did finish G1. We're still kind of working on finishing G2 consistently, so I'll talk about that later. I accidentally used one social summon because sometimes that happens. It's happened once before when I was trying to summon, uh, or not, wait, not social summon, one exclusive summoning stone summon. That's happened before when I've tried to summon a social summon, and I got a fire serpent, so I just thought I'd tell you guys, because I am saving up for Orion, so we're down one, but it's okay. After that, I finished C2, so this is like two Sundays ago, What's today? Thursday? So yeah, this was two, this was a long time ago. So I finished C2 with zero refills. I, for my offenses in arena, I did, I think I did 20 minutes of rush. I did 12 wings and out of those 12, I lost two. I bruisered two, I won the two bruiser ones. So technically I used my double Lucians for um, 
10 matches. I won eight of them and lost two. And that didn't, uh, that kind of was bad. And I realized at that point, I was kind of understanding that it was my fault that I was fucking up my offenses with my Lucians and something was going wrong. So I just wrote that down. I tried to do a rush hour video, but you know, if I finished like that in C2, that's not very good for me. So I didn't do the rush hour video, but I did do one of the following week, which was this past Sunday. So that's how uh, two weeks ago went, C2, zero refills. Sometime later, I did a 12-hour EXP booster for the event. I had it left over from something, I don't remember. Um, so we have a couple of events going on, and I did that for that. We have the event where you have to make, um, where is it, right here? You have to level up stuff to finish it. So I still need to finish that. My plan is to do the summons today, pop an EXP booster from the Christmas pack either tomorrow or the next day or sometime before Sunday because this is over like on Sunday, I think. Yeah, um, so I have to finish that out. With the EXP booster, I kind of forgot what I leveled up. Let me see. Um, I six-starred six Escher. I don't, I don't know if that's how you say it. The Light Werewolf, I used him a little bit, and he didn't really work out that well, so he's in storage for now. I did rune him up. I can show you guys his runes, but I don't know. Um, I thought I had pretty good runes on him, and I thought he'd be doing damage, but he just doesn't, so that was kind of weird. He might need more HP, but yeah. So I six-starred him, and then I five-starred my Gemini. I did that because I'm kind of preparing for Orion. I do think I will build Gemini and Orion together if I get Orion. So I five-starred him, and then I'm also working on one more Lucian, or not Lucian, uh, Jojo fusion for a Lucian skill up. So I have the materials here, the Fire Magical Archer, Fire Werewolf, uh, Water Golem, and the Wind Howl. I am going to skill up both of my Lucians fully, I think, but this one still needs to get his ant magic skilled up. That's the current uh, goal right now. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit later. I got a new GB10 time. I think this was a new time, and I think that was because of free run removal. So my new time is 47 seconds, which was cool. I think my previous time was 48 seconds. Oh shoot, no, I it, it wasn't on auto because I restarted my game. So, well, we can go to the end screen and see what the new time was. So in the past week and a half, I've farmed quite a bit of R5 with two of my guild members and I've gotten a lot of grindstones. I've been putting on, I've been putting them on my best runes pretty much. Um, my Bernard got like eight speed faster, maybe even faster than that. I still think he has eight to go, so he should be like two, wait, what is it like 297 speed? Is that right? I don't know. We can take a look at Bernard after this, but um, he still has, or not eight speed, yeah, maybe eight. So um, I have been farming R5, it's been going well. We don't fail at all, my team is very solid. I switched back to my regular team, like my beginner R5 team. I was trying out Shaolin, I did six star her in my last Path of Decency episode, not in the episode, but I talked about it. So I tried her out and it, the team just wasn't as fast as the other, as my regular original team. Hey, another mystical. Oh wait, did you guys see the time? I didn't see it. Shoot, okay. Well, uh, let's go over to R5 here and I'll show you the team just to refresh your memory. So this is the current team I'm using. I was experimenting with a four-man front line. I switched back to two. I don't really know if there's a difference. The things that I have been noticing, Darian sometimes dies, and Lisa especially, she dies. I think she needs more defense. So, you know, in Summoner's War, it's really important to pay attention to what's actually happening, and then that can give you clues to fixing it. Um, and at the end of the episode, I do have some things that I need to fix. My AD and my Necro team, I'll talk about that. Um, along with this, you know, but this is, this is fine for now. Our run times are like three to four minutes, which is fine with me. And the grindstones have been good. So let's check out my Bernard because that's what I promised you guys. So here he is. What's that? One, 288. 
And then he has some ungrinded ones. So this one's ungrinded. So that would be 292 maybe if I got a four speed grindstone. And then this one, 296 maybe if I did the math right. Um, so he has a little bit to go. I am getting outsped by other people in arena sometimes. And I think that's like normal because for a while I thought like, hey, I'm I'm so lucky. My Bernard's really fast compared to other people's, but I don't I don't really think I got lucky with my runes. I think other people have been farming enough, and clearly because they're outspeeding me with the same percent speed leader. Um, but it's okay. I don't get outsped that often, especially in my almost G1 rush hour video. I don't think I got outsped that much, like twice. But then the AI derped, and I won those matches. Let's continue on with the list. My Lucians, since I farmed R5, I got grindstones on them, and then they became speed tuned with my whole team. So if my Bernard is able to move, the whole team will move. Nothing can cut in between at all. Check out my um, C3 Almost G1 Rush Hour video because in the description of that video, I typed out a really super long paragraph. It was like multiple paragraphs about how I speed tuned them that you guys should check out. There's also, um, I think speed is rounded up too. Um, there are some like minor things that I wasn't sure about, but even if things are rounded up, I'm on the safe side with the speed of my Lucian's. So um, check out that video if you want to see how I speed tuned them uh, properly. I think that was a really big thing. And then overall, um, in that video, I talk about how I've gotten better with them. I was using them improperly. I pretty much, I'm avoiding all possible nemesis healers, uh, Ariel, Praha. I pretty much stay away from those. And it's a continuing process. I'm still, there are still some things I need to learn about them and I still need to practice with them to get even better with them. So I do have that video out if you guys want to see my current power level, my current knowledge of the Lucians and see how I did. So that's um, on my channel and in the description for you. We had a Hall of Heroes. It was the Dark Kobold Bomber. I tweeted a picture of the team that I was using to farm it. I managed to farm 12, um, 12 of them. I decided to farm as many as possible just in case I wanted to build a bomber. I have a water kobold. I have, I think I have a fire one and a wind one. So I decided to farm as many as possible. I think the most efficient floor for me would have been B1, like, I don't really know, but I decided not to do that uh, because I didn't want to be spending that much energy because having Kobold Bomber skill ups isn't super important to me. So I was doing B3 and I will show you guys the picture of the team that I used. So I uh, farmed that after that. So that was pretty much last weekend. And then I did Rush Hour in the middle, well, not really in the middle of, but somewhere in, because the Hall of Heroes goes over rush hour. So I stopped farming. I did rush hour. That's when I got C3, almost G1, one win away. Um, I, I used three refills to do it. And yeah, I think I might keep pushing it soon. There's still so much that I need to do and learn, I think. So I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, Sometime it'll happen, I know. Uh, maybe this weekend I might try to try to get it again. I don't even know how last weekend was. Maybe it was a super easy week. I don't know. Um, once again, check out that video if you guys want to. Before that, hold on, rewind. I forgot to go over this. My guild got G3 again. That was our second G3 finish with one extra wing left over. We decided to save a wing um, to do, like, a one-wing rush, and we weren't able to use it, because if we did use the wing, we would have probably lost that fight, and then we wouldn't have gotten G2 even. We would have gotten knocked down to G1, most likely. So, we had one wing left over. You can see we only did 11 attacks, and we got G3, so that was our highest finish. It was pretty awesome. 
I think we just got pretty lucky with our defenses. All of our offenses were super easy, so that was good. And then we got a lot of summoning stones just in time for Orion. Perfect. Um, so that was how Guild Wars ended. So after that happened, I purchased a Devilmon because every week I buy one. I'm sure you guys do too. And I'm using it to skill up my Lucians right now, like I was talking about earlier in the episode. This one definitely needs his Amputation Magic maxed out. So I think I'm going to keep Devilmoning him. I got three Devilmon from the Christmas package and then some from TOA Normal and Hard. I'm going to save those because... I have a ton of summons to do today, and for the Orion rotation, all of, like my TOA normal and hard legendaries, so I'm saving all of the ones uh, that I got from that right now, just in case I pull an at five. So right now I have five, um, and then if I don't pull an at five, I'm pretty sure I'm going to continue devil monning my Lucians. I might do it so they both get amp magic skilled up, and then I might try fusing some more. Like I said earlier in, earlier in the episode, I am working on one other um, fusion. I don't know though, because to farm the fire werewolf, you have to farm Rofagus. Where is Rofagus? Oh, here. Um, that one might not be too bad because I have Soha. I'm not really sure though. Um, it might be best for me just to devilmon them. I'll have to think about it a little bit longer, though, because, to be honest, like, I have nothing else to skill up. Am I really going to be pulling an at five anytime soon? Uh, probably not. Uh, you never know, though. So, I think this is totally fine because I don't think I have any other priorities, really. Lisa, maybe, but I don't, I don't know about that. Um, I'll think about it a little bit longer and take a look at the rest of my monsters and see. And of course, we'll have to see what happens with today's summoning session and the Orion summoning session. So as always, if I'm not sure about a decision, I always like to just wait, wait it out and wait to see if a clear option presents itself or a clear decision presents itself. So I'm just sitting on those. I already talked about how we have the Orion summons coming soon. Um, I hope I, I came up with like a kind of fun video and then I hope I can make it work out. So uh, keep a lookout for that video coming out soon. I purchased a daily pack, um, another daily pack one for $5. I updated the prices, how much I've spent on the game in my paste bin. So if you go to my YouTube about section, go to my channel, click on the about section, the paste bin is there so you can see how much I've spent total. And um, since I purchased the Christmas package total, I think it's $320. So that's there for you. Um, the daily pack one is super efficient. So I've been pretty hardcore buying these like off cooldown now. I'm picking up the pace. I'm, I'm addicted now. I'm just kidding. I'm not addicted. Maybe I am because I've been purchasing a lot of daily packs. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let me update you guys with the glory shop buildings. I purchased the water building because of my water nukers, Sig and Theo. Theo being the big one. Next, I'm going to purchase the fire sanctuary because I've been doing those evenly. And then whenever that price is more expensive than the final upgrade of the sword, I'll purchase the sword. I was kind of thinking about um, buying the Wind Sanctuary exclusively for my Lucians, but I think they're fine right now. I think they do enough damage. I think I can definitely hold off on that, especially with how my C3 rush hour went. I wasn't really noticing that they lacked damage at any point. Um, maybe I'm wrong though, and maybe that would help, uh, but I don't think so. So... Um, I'll do the fire sanctuary next and then continue to think about it. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But I'm trying to think because sometimes when it comes down to certain things, more damage would help. But then if there is a nemesis monster, more damage would be worse. I did lose to a nemesis Orion. That was really strange. So I don't know about that. Um... I don't know, maybe I'll have to do some research on it. Maybe I'll write, I'll, I'm gonna star this, I think. Put a star here, because I need to think about that and look into it a little bit more. 
So I did another 12 hour EXP booster. That was actually when I um, six starred my light werewolf and five starred the uh, Gemini. And for the previous 12 hour booster, I don't know what I did. Maybe I just leveled up some things and did a couple hours of it just so it didn't go to waste. I think that's what I did. I think the best thing you can do if you have EXP boosters is use your reps for them because you know how you have like a bunch of reps. So I would definitely use those for each booster, even if you're not going to do the full 12 hours or whatever, just do your reps and that's worth it. So I did seven hours of that 12 hours and then I was like, okay, we're done. I think I was kind of running a little bit low on Unknown Scrolls. Hey, we're going up in Unknown Scrolls, guys. I have been purchasing two-star uh, silver star monsters from the magic shop. I got two um, mysterious plants or whatever they're called. Not mysterious plants. What are they called? Those plant things. Um, monster flower. So... I bought two of those from the shop, and I haven't um, had to level one star monsters yet, but I just might. I just might. I was also kind of thinking about maybe buying the four star rainbow mon from the guild shop, just to kind of help me out a little bit, but I don't think that's necessary. Uh, I think it's better for me to really focus on buying the flags. Um, I might have had some flag upgrades too, so I'll just show you guys. The flags right now i'm sitting on my points because what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do all my summons for orion if i don't get him then i will buy these from the shop and then if i get him i don't need to buy these because i don't think i'm gonna go for anything else in the exclusive summons we did have the new monsters come out like the dice magicians so i might go for those eventually but right now i I don't think I'm going to buy those. Uh, I don't even know if the dice, dice Magicians are going to be in the Summoning Stone rotation immediately. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, so here are my flags. Next on the list, um, <clears throat> we have, like, a live arena event going on, too. And I only started doing that recently because I kind of forgot about it. So I checked it out and they have so many rewards going on. So I did 30 wings yesterday and I have to get rid of like however many I have today. So I got these two things. Live Arena honestly is not very fun for me because either I don't know how to do Live Arena or my monsters suck at it. I don't think there are that many people actually doing Live Arena at the moment. So I'm facing players who are better than me. I feel like everyone just picks their nat fives and then they just win, but some people have been picking like nat fours and farmable monsters against me and they have been beating me, but overall I've had like a pretty bad time in live arena, but I'm still going to grind it out. Like it isn't horrible. Um, yeah. Oh gosh, that victory rate's really bad. Um, I haven't been having a horrible time, but it's not like fun at all for me really. I mean, maybe it sort of is, but yeah, uh, the losses really suck because I just feel like, I just feel bad uh, because I feel like I can't really do anything. Like someone brought two of the pioneers, they brought like Chiwu Wusa something something and I'm like, I'm like, okay, um, his team like looks really bad, but he's going to stall me out. I knew going into that match that he was just going to stall me out and that he would win. And then that's what happened. Um, oh yeah, I think he brought like Camilla to, well, I lost to a Camilla because that monster's just insane. Um, especially in live arena. She's fucking OP as hell. Um, so one guy stalled me out and I, I don't have like any attackers. <laughs> My best monsters for live arena are Theomars and Ritesh. But I don't have anything that scales off attack because you guys know in Live Arena, if the match goes on for a long time, maximum HP goes down and attack goes up. And I don't think I like have anything that's really good for Live Arena, like a bruiser monster sort of thing. But I don't really care to think about it now because if I thought about it more, I probably could come up with like my best team. But it's just an event. I'm just doing it for the rewards. I'm not looking to, like, compete or anything, so, yeah, uh, not a fun time overall. After that, um, rewind back, like, yesterday and the day before, or just yesterday, TOA reset, so I did that Twitch live stream. It was, like, a surprise stream. I was just like, hey, why not just do TOA and see how it goes? So I did the live stream, completed TOA normal. I'm going to update you guys with how it went. 
So let's see. I used a pretty YOLO team. I have the full VOD of it. I don't think I've ever had a VOD of me autoing TOA normal or like a video or anything because they just take too long. But uh, streaming on Twitch, I think, is fine for it. So I used a pretty YOLO team like Double Lucian. I was using Double Lucian, Lagmaron, Galleon, Bernard, which is my GB10 team right now. I used that up until floor 66. So let's go down to floor 66. Wait, a little bit further. Okay, so on 66, though, I had to switch to a safer team. I think I put Shasun in there instead of Bernard, and then I kept Galley and Lagmar on double Lucian. It's on the VOD. And then on 85, let's go up a little bit higher, I had to switch to an even safer team, and I ended up using Velajul just so I wouldn't get debuffed, and that team was working out really well. I think I was using... Maybe I was using Lagmaron, Theo, Velajul, Chasun, Galleon. I think that was the team. And um, it was super good because the TOA normal, it just didn't have all of the monsters in normal, didn't have enough damage to even kill my nukers. Uh, Chasun, from what I recall, Chasun was just healing through it and they weren't CCing me at all because I had the immunity. So TOA normal, that was the best normal I ever had. This was the first month that I tried out Velajul in normal and it was really good. So I finished out normal and then today I've been working on hard. So let me update you guys on that. Uh, let me go to this page. So I will have a full like progress report on hard because last month was like really the first month that I was able to auto hard. I auto, I had to manual six floors, everything else was auto. So that was a pretty good month for me. And I'm still keeping track of it this month. So everything's looking uh, so far so good. The only floor I had to manual thus far is floor 70. I did use a farmable team for it. So I'll have those videos out sometime later. And also we had a really tough floor. Uh, floor 67 was the Zyros double Acroma floor, and I was able to auto it. So I'll have that video out for you guys too. And I'll just probably like pick and choose whichever ones I want to do, whichever ones make the most sense. At some point in time, it might be a little bit pointless for me to keep doing TOA hard videos. <laughs> like it makes no sense for me to do a farmable TOA normal video for like stage 60, 70, 80, 90 because I use like a YOLO team all the way through. So at some point in time, hard is going to have to be retired. I might end up doing like speed runs eventually. I'll probably let that happen when it happens, when I get the monsters, when they do enough damage and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna like build anything specifically for it, but I don't think people even really do that. I don't know though. So, um, so far so good. Just one floor so far that I've had to manual. I haven't had many fails at all, just a couple here or there, but um, everything's been going good. I will have to especially pay attention to what happens when I get into the 80s and 90s because my team will probably start to fail a little bit more then. And also, this is the first month for uh, Lyrith, so her, her, um, the 90s are a little bit different, so I'm interested to see how that happens because Aftaros' Aftaros's 90s may have been easier, so we'll see how my team does. So let's flip back to the other page. I'm going to finish this out hopefully today because I want to have all of the summons before Orion. I'm going to pop everything before I pop my stones because you never know, I could get Orion from the Legendary Scroll or something. So uh, yeah, okay. So that was all of that stuff. I already told you guys about the Christmas package. I will show you the clip of that at the end when we do the summons. And then uh, three more like quick things and that's the end of the episode. So the three quick things um, that I've been noticing, I've been noticing that Shasun is not faster than some of my other monsters, specifically Veramos. Um, let's see. Oh, this is gonna be hard because of their uh, base speeds. So I know for a fact she's slower than Vero. So we have 101 plus 95, 196. And then let's find Veramos here. Yeah, so, um, wait, did I say 196 for her, 296? So wait, wait, hold on. I'm bad at math on the spot. Wait, yeah, no, one, yeah, 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 196. 
and then we have 207. So that has been kind of bad for Live Arena specifically. Like doing the Live Arena event made me realize that he'll move, but she'll need to heal him and then she won't even boost up her attack bar at all because he moved before her. So I need to fix that. I might kind of like sort of nerf these monsters. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll just try to get her faster, but of course I will have to sacrifice probably her HP and defense if I do that. Um, so that whole situation's kind of weird. She might even be slower than Velajul. I don't know. No, I think she's faster than that, right? Hold on. Math, it's so hard for me on the spot. 101 plus 95. No, he might be faster. No, she's faster. Maybe I'm wrong. I think those were, like, the main ones, and then I think, um, yeah, she's faster than Theomars, which is good, you know, at least I still have that. That's the most important thing if I ever have to use her with him, so that's the most important thing. Um, so I need to, that's on my radar, it's like, uh-oh, things aren't, things are not good with Shasun right now and with my other monsters, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. Another thing, with the whole like, how much I've been doing Arena, I've kind of been noticing that my defense might be a little bit questionable, um, just, like, how it works overall. So, people might even be able to double Lucian me. I think it really just depends. So, what should happen if they double Lucian me? First turn, they kill Freya, and she heals everyone. I don't have Nemesis on Vero, and even, so, even if I did, they might have Will on their second Lucian. So then their second Lucian gets to move, and then he'll probably take my team down to half health or so. He might even be able to kill some of them because my shield set will be gone. And I think some of my monsters are just bordering on enough HP. So 25,500, that's definitely not enough. If he gets three crits, um, this one will be dead. So... So, and then even, even if my whole team survives the second Lucian, Veramos has to use the correct skill. He has to get stomps. Velijul will hopefully use the immunity, which means he's not putting out any damage on them. And then Ritesh cannot one-shot Lucians with a Megan buff. So then, like, second turn, I just think that the Lucians will eventually be able to kill me, like, really quickly. So those are just my thoughts on it right now. It's kind of been worrying me, but it's been doing well so far. Well enough, I think. Um, but once again, it's going to be a thing on my radar that I keep an eye on. I think eventually I will have to move into, like, a stronger stall defense that can defend against, like, more things, I guess. Well, maybe not more things, but I've been thinking about double fire mummy. Um, I've been thinking about Rena, Freya, Chloe. Um, since I've... Been, I've told you guys about this before, but there's this one Reddit user who goes by the name X Too Lazy to Die, and he's actually on the top like top ranking list a lot. So I was looking at his monsters. Maybe he's here now. Oh, and then I think this dude actually. Let's check out this dude because this dude might be the dude that he was talking about. Um, let's see. I think this dude was using something similar. Maybe not. He, I don't think it was this dude because this dude has a lot of good monsters. Yeah, it's not this dude. But he said it was like X Dragon X or something. So, um, oh, here, this dude. So, Too Lazy to Die on Reddit. I'll link his like post history down below. I pretty much stalk that dude. And he uses like farmable options to get G3. So I've been keeping an eye on that whole situation. So we have a couple of arenas built here. I think this is the dude. Then we've got a Chloe, holy shit, so much HP. And then we've got a Freya. I think I think this X Dragon X dude was using double Rena Chloe Freya. I think that was his defense. You guys will probably have to check through too lazy to die's post history if you want to. So maybe I'll take a look at these later though, because that is the dude. And then, um, it's too lazy to die here. I don't know. I hope I don't miss him, but, um, I've just been thinking about these things because people are using them to get G3, and I might have to, too, if I don't pull anything that makes a lot of sense. Like, I think my defense will have to have, like, three nat fives at least, 
plus Freya maybe? Okay, here he is. So I've checked him out before and I think he's using the double fire mummy. And he did try to use, um, I ran into him in R5 and he told me he tried to use like a legit defense and it didn't work as well as his fire mummies did. So I think he uses double fire mummy Freya something maybe. So there's his Freya and let's check out his Rena's. First Rena, is that the only one? Yeah, so you guys should definitely check out those people if you're interested in, like, free-to-play G3 defenses for Rush Hour. Um, I think I will need something kind of threatening up until then. I don't know if you can just run a tank defense and have it do well and get you to G3. I don't know. So that whole topic is covered, how my AD right now is kind of questionable, and I will need to work on it sometime. Also, my Necro team, it has been failing. I feel like I do need to be farming Necro because my ne I don't have that many Necro runes. I haven't farmed it that much compared to Giants and Dragons, and my team's have been failing. So next week or sometime, I don't know, in the future, the week after, I'm really going to have to watch some of these runs and see why the team fails. That's, you know, I talked about this earlier in the episode, but it's just a good overall strategy that everyone uses for every part of the game. See why you're failing, and then that should give you the answer to how you can fix it. So the fails have not been fun, and I definitely need to fix that because I need to be farming Necro to make those runes catch up with my other runes. And that's it for... Necro. I think they can possibly fail here on this boss if he defense breaks them. And then I don't know what else they could fail on. I also might have to look up some different rune builds for them because Violent might not be the best for everyone. Uh, if I don't have the runes, I might be able to get away with putting some different sets on some other monsters. Aside from Violent, I don't know. Maybe I might even have to make some switches and put in a different monster instead of like Bella or something like that. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm strong enough to move on to that at the moment. And that's it for the next, for the episode. So when this run is over, we can do the summons and then I will have to sign off and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow, sometime later this week, for the Orion summons. I'm hoping to get him. I'm going to have to wait till next month to rune him. I'll probably just save him for free rune removal. Um, I don't know how I'm going to build him, though, if I want to do violence or just make him really fast. I'm not sure, so uh, I'll have to think about that and probably do some research on it, too. So far, I think I'm going to use him on my Guild War defense, and then that's all I have planned for right now. I could always do Gemini Orion for AD. I don't know how good that is, though. And I don't know if I have other options for it. Gemini Orion, Theo, Chasun, maybe? I don't know. Yay, we did it. We didn't fail. 223, pretty good. Rune piece, delicious. Okay, so that's it for the episode, but first we have to do the summons, so let's go ahead and start with the mysticals. Here we go, guys. Maybe some mummy skill ups? I hope we have a mummy secret dungeon. Mummy skill up, because I want to have those ready. It takes like a long time to get skill ups for them, so I want to have those ready if I ever decide to use them. Lightning! Is that... Verd. My second Verd. Cool. I don't think I need another one, but cool. Okay, let's continue. Lots of fodder. Frankenstein. I don't need a Frankenstein. I do need- I have so much stuff, like, that I have to do. I have to finish out all these events, the live arena events, the- the, uh, like, Rainbow Mon event or whatever it's called. So much stuff. Come on, let's get another lightning. Hey, a water golem. That's, uh, Lucian's 
uh, Jojo Fusion material. Okay, so just one lightning out of those. Now let's do the two scrolls of light and darkness, and then we will do the legendary scroll. Oh, it's a Varus. I don't have a Varus. Varus is kind of good, I think. So that's nice. My first Varus. At least it was not a duplicate three star. No lightning. Are you serious? <sighs> okay, that dude. I don't think that dude's any good. I think I already have that dude. So now the legendary scroll, and then after this, I will play you the clip of the Christmas pack summoning results. Okay, here we go. Legendary scroll. Let's get something. Let's get something. A Tyran? No. A uh, Lumi. I don't have one of those, so I guess that's good. Completing the Pokedex, everyone. So, uh, yeah, the summons weren't good, but it's okay. I'm not really that disappointed. Because that's what Summoner's War is, disappointment. So if you just lower your standards, you'll be fine. So here comes the Christmas pack summoning clip. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you guys for the Orion summons sometime tomorrow, the next day, or the day after. So I will catch you guys later. The package has been purchased. Check your inbox. We gotta check out this deer though. Where'd he go? I really have to find him on my island? Mmm, the deer decided to hang out with Elia. I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay, so, we have... We have one legendary scroll and two scrolls of light and darkness. I think that's all it gave me. Pretty sure, yeah. Oh, it's gone. Okay, you guys ready? Let's do the light and dark scrolls first. I always like to do those first. Okay, let's get a freaking lightning, please. Please. <sighs> I did not want that. Oh, okay, hold on. I gotta move some stuff over. Thank you for the good luck, Wilfredo. Okay, here we go. Scroll of Light and Darkness, number two. Are you serious? No lightning, and that dude. I already have a Thrain, so it's not really that disappointing. Because if I didn't have a Thrain, I might be disappointed. Okay, so. The Legendary Scroll. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Let's just, let's just do it. Here we go. What? 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 I already have that. I already have that. Well, I don't really need that for a skill up either. Because my Messity's already skilled up. So the summons were bad, but I got a deer and I got crystals, so I still have those to, uh, console myself. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero alto y felicidad.